Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Liza Biddy coming to you live and direct. Remember to like, subscribe to the channel, and comment and engage in this and keep the questions coming. You all are sending some great questions. I am loving this. Um, one, it helps me to continuously check my email. I'm really derelict in the email department, okay? And two, this is some great interaction and feedback for others who are pondering whether they are going to move abroad, live abroad, etc. So this question came, if I were to um, perish, what would be the last place on earth I would want to visit slash live? And so, for me, for me, for me, for me, this is a very simple one. It's simple because of this. I have been on six continents with um, one remaining, okay? I have also been to um, New Zealand. New Zealand is not a continent, but it sits far out across from Australia. So one of the remaining places that is on my bucket list, I don't know when and I'm gonna get there, is Antarctica. Now you may be asking yourself, who and why would one want to go there? It's so cold, it's so this, it's so that, it's so whatever. Let me say this. I am a traveler. I love traveling. I love seeing new things. As I mentioned before, traveling allows everything I ever read about to come to fruition. Your reasons for traveling could be totally different. Um, everything I ever read about, I want to see it live and direct. Live and direct. And so, since I have not been there, yes, I have been to cold places, but since I have not been there, this place, Antarctica, is high on the list. Now, you may be asking yourself, who is ready? How are you going to get there? And how long would you stay because of the weather, etc.? Trust me, people have been traveling there for quite some time. Typically, you can get there out of South America. They have... Um, cruise ships that you can get on. They have, um, I believe you can get there too out of Australia. I think that's, that, that's the other place. Sorry about that, as you know, I'm outside. Okay, so, and these cruise ships, you can do them for different lengths of time, just like any other place that you would cruise to. So I would likely travel somewhere in South America, board on a ship, get there, and get it off my bucket list. Now, those cruises to Antarctica, yes, yes, yes. They are very seasonal. So that's something else for you to think about as well. When you have these um, cruises that are seasonal like such because of the, lo the locations or the places that they're going to, you don't have to do some great planning in, uh, to get them. So I know since I am a planner, I would be mapping all of this out as I begin to make this journey. And so yeah, if I was gonna make the trip, that's one place that would be on my per se major bucket list if I knew that I was going to perish because I need I need to get it out of the way. Now, during this time, if that came about right about now, I'm, I haven't even looked into it because of the simple fact that I'm unsure what's happening with those trips because of the panorama. Something to think about, okay? So have a look at this video showcasing Antarctica and Lizard Bitty is out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as Click the links in the description box if you want to know more. Elizabeth is out.